hello everyone so in this particular video what we are going to see we are going to learn about a very uh, famous concept in java called enums okay so talking about the bookish definition of enum it's a special type of class uh, which actually contains a group of constants right uh, what do you mean by constants that means final okay anything which cannot be changed which has its own uh, permanent value which which is unchangeable that is something which is constant in Java which is final in Java okay so enum is a special type of class which holds all the constant values okay now a very uh, common interview question which can be asked to you is how can you use enum in Java or give us a practical example of enum right so we are going to see that in today's video okay so before we understand that in our frameworks in the I mean all of you must be uh, all of us work in some other the frameworks right so in my videos guys I do try to uh, explain it in a very simple common Java project so that it is easily relatable or easily you can understand it but uh, please implement it in your specific frameworks and anytime you face any issues with these implementations just let me know okay okay so uh, before before uh, trying to understand how can you use it in your frameworks uh, or how is it practically implement uh, how is its practical implementation possible let's first understand okay how do you create it okay so creating an enum is uh, quite quite simple just like the way you create a class or a package okay so you go to new and you get an option called enum here okay so that's all and i am going to type it as browser types okay guys no additional jars no addition dependencies nothing this is something which is from java java and its own okay so you do not need any other packages or dependencies to add in your project for this right okay so this is an enum which got created right you can see here public enum browser types okay so when we create a class for example i have a class here so it says public class similarly for enum it says public enum with the name that you have provided right now this is how you create an enum now let's talk about its practical implementation okay so um, when we are working with selenium um, let's take an example that we are working in a framework wherein i want to do my I mean I want cross browser testing okay so for this cross browser testing I'm uh, I want to put my um, browser name and some properties file or something and in my code okay so I've created a simple Java class right now with public static void main okay so please do it in your at the rate test or whatever you are using like JUnit is in your if it is C sharp and you know, anything okay uh, so okay so what we'll do here let's say uh, you have put it in uh, somewhere in your properties file that okay this is the name of the browser in which I want to run so you put an if condition here this is what we do generally we read okay let what do we do we read the code we read the browser name from properties file right like dot get property or something right and depending on what the browser name is I we put in if condition here with the browser name and depending on this I put my code to open the browser right this is what the typical pattern is but the issue with this pattern I'll tell you say I have put my if condition saying let's say I'm saying string browser name is equal to for now let me hard code it as Chrome okay and consider that you are reading this Chrome from properties file that is how your framework is designed that you read this from properties file and you store it in your variable and then we have put an if condition here saying if browser name even if you put a dot equals in your case okay and you say okay Chrome in that case 
open my Chrome browser right similarly if you have Firefox and open your Firefox browser if you have IE then open your IE browser and so on but the problem with this approach guys let's say that if you have said this equals ignore case Chrome it will either take this Chrome or it will either take this particular Chrome right what is someone someday went there and wrote Google Chrome right it is a f when you are taking the user input from properties file or from the console or from the Excel or somewhere that okay where do you want to run your uh, in which browser do you want to run your code it's a free text right user can type anything right and that may break your code right because if something oh sorry I wanted to type that here okay so if browser have if the user has passed Google Chrome here your code is going to break right because you have only mentioned Chrome here right as it's a free text user can enter anything here and your code becomes prone to failures right so enum can help us to remove this particular fault in our code enum can help us to prevent this issue how we'll discuss it now okay so say I've created an enum of this right and uh, maybe my code has a flexibility to run in Chrome and Firefox right so I'll create two constants here saying Chrome and Firefox right now I will come back here right what I'm going to do is I will create a oh sorry I will create a function public void open selected browser maybe right in which as a parameter I will take browser types browser okay so in parameter for this function I'm taking the enum for that okay now what I'm going to do here is I'll put a switch case here okay so how am I going to put switch cases switch browser okay and then I will say that okay if cases grow in that case what do I want to do I will put my Chrome driver right let me put this web driver dr as a global variable control x control v okay dr right and then I will break it similarly if I have the case for Firefox I can say that okay Firefox driver dot setup okay and ah, I didn't put a semicolon right and then it will break okay or else in default condition let me put just a chrome thing okay guys and now when you're calling this function say I say as it's a non static function I'll have to create an object so dot open selected browser and now there is no other option to call this apart from this way right so you have got a restricted selected option that okay you need to select Chrome or Firefox you need to select values only against these two 
you won't have any other option you can't type anything else because this function takes only this particular enum right and this enum has these values so you need to select one value out of these so there is no free text user is bound to select something out of these and this will give you a free hand to i mean uh, this will not give you actually a free hand to type anything as you require and it won't be breaking your code right so now if you see here i have written browser types dot chrome and let me run it let's see okay so you see here guys it has opened a chrome browser right and now let's do one thing i will type here firefox correct and let me start it again okay let me maximize this Okay, it's giving some issue. The path is not set for Chrome driver. Uh, okay, okay, I'm I'm so sorry, guys. We have put the path for Firefox, but then I missed replacing it here. So we need to put Firefox driver here. Okay, now let's run it once more. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's try to opening, trying to open Jaco driver. Okay, and we see our Firefox browser opened, right? So this is how we can work in enums, right? Now, you must be thinking about one thing now that, okay, this we can do when I'm working within the project, right? Because I'm selecting these enum values via this particular thing, okay? Uh, this particular enum constants, but what if I uh, wanted, like for example, uh, we can also use enums at the time. Say um, you have a drop down, okay? In that drop down, say you have got a month drop down for January, February, March, April, May, and so on. Now, what you want is user want to select some specific values from the drop down. Now, Whatever user says, that value should get selected. If user says Jan, January should be selected. If user says Feb, February should be selected, and so on. Right? Now, if you are using giving user a free text that okay, select anything. So user would be able to select anything, right? So that value can be there in the drop down, cannot be there. And at the same time, therefore, you want to put an enum for that. That okay, you will get only these ten value options to be selected from Jan to December. You will get only these twelve options, but you don't want this enum things to be given to user. You want to say that, no, I want user to say that, okay, you select anything. You, you have the free text to be selected. Okay. You put a free text. I will convert it into my enum and then I will go and select the values. Okay, guys. So this is the beauty of enum, right? And one thing to keep in mind guys is these values which you see here these are constants constants meaning it is public static and final in nature by default by itself 
this is the predefined quality from java okay predefined nature in java that all the constants defined within enumer by default public and static okay so that's all for this particular video guys and do let me know for any questions in case you have okay keep watching keep coding bye bye